Time is almost up for Bed Bath & Beyond. The companies filed for bankruptcy protection as they begin the process of liquidating hundreds of stores, including here in the Bay Area. ABC News reporter Derek Dennis explains what this means for customers. This morning, Chapter 11 bankruptcy for Bed Bath & Beyond, accelerating the process of going out of business. Shelves in the remaining stores that are still open, practically bare. It's empty. It's like... It's like a disaster zone has gone through there. I mean, it's unbelievable. After closing dozens of locations in the last year, the company says the remaining 360 Bed Bath & Beyond and 120 Bye Bye Baby stores and websites will wind down but still operate for now because the bankruptcy protection includes $240 million to keep things running until the end. It's yeah. truly heartbreaking, but you know that being with this store a lot, getting all the things that you need for your home. What it means for customers, the usual return and exchange policies stay in effect until May 24th. Gift cards and certificates are good through May 8th, but those Bed Bath & Beyond coupons are no longer valid after this Wednesday. All in-stock online orders will be fulfilled, and the company says all wedding and baby registries are safe with plans to eventually add an alternative platform for registries. Many customers still feel at a loss. I'm sick that's closing. Why the closings? The retail giant in business since 1971 was slow to transition to online shopping, while Amazon, Walmart and Target have grown. Bed Bath & Beyond joining the likes of other so-called specialty brick and mortar stores, such as Circuit City and Toys R Us. More recently, David's Bridal also filing for bankruptcy with plans to lay off 9,000 workers. The co-founder of Bed Bath & Beyond once said, quote, we missed the boat on the internet. The company says it will stop some of those store closings if a last-minute buyer steps in. It currently employs about 14,000 workers, down from 32,000 last year. Derek Dennis, ABC News, New York.